Why don't all new cars come with oil dipsticks anymore? This is an article from SlashGear.com by Mikhail Trench. <laughs> Let's see what Mikhail has to say to us today. Keeping an eye on your engines, oil is essential to maintaining its health and longevity. These handy attachments have been noticeably absent from some recent car models. Some manufacturers such as Benz and BMW have begun to trade in the traditional oil dipstick for an electronic measurement system that detects how much oil is present. My rental vehicle that I use for work does not have an oil dipstick, so mm -hmm. I had to figure out how to check it as a Benz Sprinter van. Mm -hmm. And you can actually check it pretty easily there's like a little buttons on the steering wheel. You could get to that, uh, the different screen and you could bring it up and it'll show you right there what your oil level is. Mm -hmm. Now, Dane, I think it's two things we have to talk about with this. Yep. Oil level dipsticks and transmission dipsticks are also disappearing. Yep. I want to get your opinion on this first and then I will give my opinion. Dane, what do you think about these disappearing dipsticks? Uh, I'm good with it on the oil side. I have a car, uh, one of my BMWs doesn't have an, an oil dipstick. It just has the low add and then good mark on the dash. Uh -huh. And that's it. And really, that's kind of all you need to know. I know it takes six quarts. I put six in after I drain it all out. And if it gets close to that low level, which I believe is five quarts, it tells me. And I can add one, but I think I've only seen that ever happen once because it doesn't leak. It doesn't really burn any oil. So it's not really an issue there. The sealed transmission thing has been going on for a while and they don't usually have that same warning light. It's filled from the factory. It's sealed. It's not <laughs> serviceable usually in the transmissions. And so it's just a, you can't do anything. You can't change the fluid. You can't add the fluid. Or if you can, it's not easy. Is that on like your that BMW? Huh? This one, your BMW? No, my BMW is a manual transmission, so it doesn't have that. Uh -huh. But I've seen automatic transmissions that are sealed where there's no dipstick. Which and so one? you usually on an automatic transmission with a dipstick, that's how you fill it too. So if you're going to drain it and replace the filter and then add new fluid, you're going to fill it in the dipstick hole. Where on an engine, you'll put it in the valve cover or the intake valley or something like that. But without the dipstick on an automatic transmission, you don't have a way to fill it anymore. Or you need to like go underneath the car and use a pump to pump it into the top somehow. It becomes an absolute pain not knowing what the level is. And I don't, do not like that at all for the automatic transmissions. I think it's cool not to have an oil dipstick. Uh, it's as long as you could check the oil like through the, the menus on the screen. It's actually easier to check it that way. As long as it's like you don't need a scan tool to check it, I'm okay with that. Right. If you need this scan tool, you have to go to the dealership. I think that's too much. I'm definitely okay with them doing that because that means there's a sensor that is checking to make sure you actually have oil in the car. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm thinking if, you, if it senses you don't have any oil, maybe it won't start the car or it'll start and it'll sense that and it'll shut it off. Mm -hmm. um, I noticed one time in an older car I had, when it would overheat, the car the car's computer would would shut it off automatically. Mm -hmm. It wouldn't let you start it for like like 10, 15 minutes or something. I think that was a Oldsmobile ninety eight mm -hmm. touring sedan that I had a long time ago. Mm -hmm. So I definitely think that it's smart for them to have the sensor in there to see if your oil level is low. I don't think it's a conspiracy to make you go to the dealership <coughs> now for transmission fluid. I'm not aware of any transmissions that are sealed that you can't fill them back up. What my understanding is that they'll have, they won't have a dipstick, but they'll have a, a, a bolt like at the, in the transmission pan that you'll loosen, allow the fluid out. And then they'll have another bolt that you'll take out that you fill it up in that position mm -hmm. in that bolt. So it's like a, a drain bolt and a fill bolt. So, yeah. I'm not aware of anything that's actually sealed completely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's not right. Right, it's not completely sealed for, for the average person that doesn't have, you know, tools and a pump and whatnot. They're not going to be able to do anything with it. The thing is, with transmissions, is very touchy subject because people, when the car's under warranty, sometimes they will 
they'll add flu they'll mistakenly add fluid they think that oh it didn't shift right i gotta add some fluid and they'll mess stuff up they'll mm -hmm. add fluid that doesn't belong in there mm -hmm. and now you got a whole thing with warranty people mm -hmm. a lot of time people mess up their cars because they don't know what the frick they are doing <laughs> So I understand why OEMs don't want people messing with the transmission fluid. Mm -hmm. You know, if it's under warranty, it's like it's like it's yours and the OEMs. It's not completely your car until it's out of warranty. Yeah, it's just like it's both ours. If you ever saw Friday and you understand that quote. Yeah, I'm all right with them having transmissions like that. I don't think people should be messing with the fluid. And what I am against, though, is them saying that there's a such thing as lifetime fluid. There's no such thing as lifetime transmission fluid. No. It could, because that claim can never be proven. Like, you'd have to have a transmission on a dyno, like, even still, like, with 3 million miles on it. And nobody is doing that. Right. There's, there's no such thing as un lifetime transmission fluid. But mm -hmm. I think any transmission fluid can be changed. Because um, unless, unless you could give me a... a an actual example of that we could look it up dane yeah it, it, a lot of it depends on use case too if you were like on the highway only and never altered speeds yeah maybe you could do a million miles on a transmission and and the same fluid but if you're you know accelerating decelerating you know if you tow anything or you load stuff up in your car for the weekend to go on a camping trip or whatnot all that adds a lot of extra heat and heat is the killer of transmissions yeah. And transmission fluid. You ever smell like that kind of brown, cooked, nasty yep. smell and tranny fluid? Yeah, yeah, that's a sign of things going wrong. We think that it's okay, basically. And there are no comments for this one. So mm -hmm. if you have an opinion on this, please put it in our comment section and we will talk about it further. I'm okay with it. Dane's okay with it. Uh, cars are more difficult to work on now, though, um, even without that. There's a lot of stuff, man. There's 10 pounds of crap in a five pound bag underneath all the hoods of these cars nowadays. There's just a lot of stuff in the way. There is.